up, you guys. It's your boy Rob. Hollow Avarice. Uh, back again. All right, hold on. Let me, uh... Yep, and we're recording. All right, what's up, you guys? It's your boy Rob. Hollow Avarice back again with uh, a brand new game. Today, we are going to be starting a brand new game. The newest game by Supermassive. Um... We were the creators of the of uh, Until Dawn and I believe the Dark Pictures anthology, but this is not one of the Dark Pictures. But I hear it's better than all of them. Um, if you guys watched my Halloween streams, which I did every uh, the entire month of October, you know I'm a huge coward. Very proud of that. When it comes to horror games, so I can just imagine that this is going to be a treat. Because we are going to play the quarry. Alright. Sun goes down on the last night of camp. Nine teenage counselors are plunged into unpredictable night of horror. Ugh, whatever. Okay. Start a game. Watch a selection of predefined outcomes. The couch go up. Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp Rabbit Hole. Well, you know what? We're gonna. Let's go down this rabbit hole. David Arquette. All I know is Brenda Song is in this. That's all I know about it. Evan Evagora. Skylar Desondo. Lance Henriksen. I feel it in my way. So this should be in streamer mode, so I shouldn't have to worry about licensed music. Miles Robbins. Oh, Halston Sage is in this. I'm a big fan of Halston Sage. If you've never watched um, The Orville, Seth MacFarlane's sci-fi show, it's up on uh, Hulu, I believe. She was in the first uh, two seasons of it, and she was awesome, amazing. And Brenda Song. Yeah, big fan of Halston Sage. Really charismatic young actress. So I don't recognize this song. Something's moving through the woods in the underbrush. Is this our... Mysterious. Ariel Winters in this. Alright, recognizable cast. Ray Sabrisky. June 24th, Laura. Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, I don't think I do. It begins with an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in geographic that... flux. Right, so, lost. That's that the a Scott Pilgrim? Save time one. Quick time, quick time event. Safety tip one. Take a moment to consider the following, oh. as it will guide you through the various twists and turns that may appear during your stay at Hackett's Quarry. What you see here are quick time events, or QTEs, which will help you to act at just the right time. Watch your step. 
Hackett's Quarry can be a dangerous place if you're not paying attention to your surroundings. Take your eye off the ball, and it could spell disaster. The path you tread is yours to choose. But that, that one didn't give me a quick time event. That's on you. Obstacles along the way. All right, quick time What's events. Up? Yeah, honey, nice catch. Thank you. Man, the roads are definitely getting worse out here. I guess it's all part of the rustic summer camp experience. I recognize him too. Oh, right, that's where we're going. I lost track like 200 miles ago. 200 miles ago, huh? Yeah. You know what, Max? It's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gotten lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Lawrence and Max. Goodbye, hot dogs. See you later, apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. I mean, oh my God. Okay, just Marigold, get us Spucci, to camp already before I roll Vikings, my eyes out of my head. The indigenous people. It. I'm working on it. Were there any directions on the flyer? No, just a fake bunch of kids faking it around a fake fire pit. Checks out. Everything okay? Yeah, all good. Eyes on the road. Hey, eyes on the road, mister. <laughs> Oh damn. Oh damn, what? Stop the car! Okay, so well, I thought that was the circle button, that's the, the uh, joystick. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? I think it was a person. Lou, are you serious? Do you think we hit a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. I didn't feel an impact on the controller until we hit the barricade. this car up well maybe it looks worse than it is uh i should check out the damage before we try to start it up again huh could you grab my uh the, the toolbox from the trunk yeah yeah okay is this gonna be our uh procedural opening crawl the first few scenes in any procedural tv show or supernatural or whatever Not so bad. My mom's gonna kill me. All right, let's go get the toolbox in the back. Oh, I already saw that. Uh, can I skip? Take a moment to no, consider I can't the skip. Follow, okay. as it will guide you through the various twists and turns that may appear during your stay at Hackett's Quarry. What you see here are quick time events or QTEs, yeah, it's not me skip. which will okay. help you to act at just the right time. Watch your button. step. Hackett's Quarry can be a L1, dangerous L2. place if you're not R1, paying attention R2. to your surroundings. Left, up, down, right. Take your eye off the ball, Triangle, and it could spell disaster. Square, X, circle. The path you up, tread down, is left, yours to choose, but that doesn't mean there won't be obstacles along the way. Kind of 
Combat, don't breathe, evidence. Interrupts. At certain times throughout the night, opportunities will present themselves, giving you the chance to take matters into your own hands. It is worth noting that they are only suggestions. You don't have to act upon them. In fact, sometimes it's better not to. Okay. Sometimes it's better not to. I'm not going to snoop. Thanks, huh? Yeah. Do you need a hand? Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. Keep my eye on the background. Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. There was someone just in that back seat. Self curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing alongs. Dev had some Fallout vibes cool in these videos. In front of big old fire oh, yeah. pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. Then well, someone's watching us. Yeah, like the all like the Fallout perks, 100. percent You can definitely see that. Anywhere's better than here. I was also getting a big um, Twilight Zone vibe with the announcer. It's kind of what the voice sounded like to me. Oh, yep. Where are you going? Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. Yep. Stay together. Do not separate. Max, hurry up! What's going on? I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? Yeah, I... they could be hurt. I don't know. I didn't think we actually hit anyone. Well, I don't know. I just, I heard something, okay? Like a, a woman. Do you think we hit her? I just want to check it out. Okay. All right. Just don't go too far, okay? Be careful. Yeah. yeah. We were going... If we hit them, they would have been up on the road. Luck with the car. Kind of loops back around. Okay. Harem Scavum. Spectacular. Sorry. Harem Scarum. Poster for a traveling sideshow. It's been here for a while, left forgotten on the edge of this world. Are there bird marks on the edges? The Freak Show Fire. I like that. That's great. That's great. Chest here. With handcuffs and escapology trunk. Strange devices and escapologist. Relic of a traveling show. Uh, 
Oh boy, this is gonna be a lot more area to cover than I thought. What the hell? Sideshow act? A broken cage. Looks like an animal has I'm nested silenced. here. the dog boy an escapologist harem scarum and a freak show fire Changing angles is making this Silas the dog boy. I mean, I'm wandering pretty far from that car. Damn right, Aaron. Makes a lot of sense for her to explore by herself. Get as far from the car as you can. Where are you? Silence. Cool, we're getting to a point where I can't. It's okay. It's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's animals. It's easy to freak yourself out. No. Can we just leave? Please? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Okay. You all right? Yes, there we go. Fern like a kid. Max, come on. Here we go. Here we go. We're getting out of here. Are you kidding me? Max! I just, okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. We've got to go, man. All right, you're not helping right now. Can you just... I am trying to get us out of here. All right, just... enough! Shit, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, as long okay. as as long as long whatever's chasing me fails those quick time events, I'm all set. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jesus! Oh, ah! fuck! Oh, my God, my heart just exploded. Roll it down. Mm -hmm. Hi, officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Mm -hmm. Well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? Path chosen. 
our fallout our fallout style Hackett's quarry is full of twists and turns, unknown paths and unexplored wonders. With each step taken, you tread a path of your own, matched with its very own consequences. There will be moments throughout your stay that show you that the choices you've made, the path you've chosen, Thanks for the follow, eh, Rom? Have gone another way. Good At to have you here. Quarry, there's no such thing as the wrong way. But be warned. Some paths are more dangerous than others. Well, that's just great. Yeah. Um. We, um, uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and now here we are. Something jumped out. I'm sorry, it was, it was so dark and it happened so fast and they were gone. I don't know. They? Ma'am, did you hit someone? No, no, God, no, of course not. You know, I mean, I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. Sir? Car running, sir. Is this kind of like the all-time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. <laughs> okay, he's winching us out. Oh, that's good. Yeah, Supermassive has really good mocap, and just the sheer list and the like, caliber of actors was really solid that we saw. Now, you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night? We're heading up to Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. We're new counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out, you know? I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. Come on, cop. You're not gonna make it to Haggett's quarry. Not tonight. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? What's uh, on his neck? I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Okay. Yeah. Fine, yeah. We'll head to the motel. Understood. Uh, there's just one small problem. Uh, I forgot to spring for the middle of nowhere coverage plan on my phone. What he means is we're lost completely. Yeah, the facial right, animations is really about high quality vehicle. too. Wait, what? Um, I just want to show you how to get to the motel on your map there. Okay. Uh, for sure. Son, remain in the vehicle. Okay. Yeah, he's kind of, kind of sketchy. Okay. So, we... are right about here. There's an unnecessary Harbinger flourish. Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's quarry again? Well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning.
Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Wait, but, but what if there's someone out there? Yeah, I'll have a look. Good night. Yeah, it's getting kind of that psycho vibe. I mean, as long as it's not the the Bates Motel, I think we're we're okay. Why is this guy just sitting there? You usually wait for the cop to. Uh, no. We're leaving. Okay, just giving me major weirdo The dude needed, like, at least a dozen showers. Oh my god, I know. What was up with the thing? I Did you see was, that? Was it blood? This. Honestly. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Stay on each other's good side. Always help unnecessary fights and right. horror movies. Let's always get back end on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing. Me. <laughs> very slick. Clever girl. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel? Just listen to this guy's advice. Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am. Oh my god! If he called me ma'am one more time, I was going to shove that badge up his dick. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? i got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? I... 20s debatable. Easy. Ooh. I mean, I'm kind of into maps. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> All right, end of scene one. Oof. All right, so we have a new character, the creepy cop. Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You gotta be kidding me. There's nobody here. We tried to the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This. This is the difference. Hello? I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? Go to the motel. I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll get the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm on Max's side on this one. You didn't get verbal confirmation? Is anybody home? I mean, there's clearly a light on inside. We all see that. There's clearly a light on. Gated off. You can see through to the other side there. Well, that just looks terrifying. Walk, fire pit, tree house, jetty, boathouse, lodge, car park. So that's where we are now. What doesn't kill you make you will make you stronger. Um, well, 
What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. <sighs> Super. Hey, you ready to roll? I mean, is it just an option to roll? Gonna have to go check out that. Yeah, of course. Or is there still a light on the store? I don't know, you just said tools. Why didn't you just bring the... Look, there's someone in there. Uh, I'm not seeing anyone. What? No, look. I'm looking, I am. Let me see. There, there was definitely someone there. Okay, okay, so... You sure? It's gonna be super loud. Yeah, okay. Wrenches. Dual wrench. Damn. <laughs> you need a hand? Yeah. You hit him with the hammer? <laughs> You've seen the evil dad, right? Hello? Are you hurt? Do you exist? There's stuff moving down here. Hey, be careful. And that wheel slowed down. What are you doing? I'm just, you know, I'm scoping it out.
too big for a dog. What kind of dog would be called Ian? Yeah, dogs shouldn't- you shouldn't give dogs people names. Firm believer. Max? Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. Hey. It's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out, but... I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination... <laughs> Alright, so this is the path I've chosen. Being honest with the cop, helping Max. Yeah. <laughs> Every motion of your hips. I feel the compulsion to pull you to my sweet lips. I see the black. You didn't see that coming. We definitely didn't go to the Harbinger Motel. He has a point. Max is dead. And Laura is maybe dead? He injected something into her neck. Oh. That was just so smooth. Is this going to be our Hello, my friend. Our narrator's Welcome interlude? To the show. We are friends, aren't we? Until Dawn had the, the psychologist. I've waited for you. The Dark Pictures has the curator. Yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting, yes, and terrifying. The skin texture is really... Ugh. If you're brave enough... Really well done. If you let me help you, I can help you. We can help each other. So, so... You didn't find anything, and so I've nothing to show you. You need to look harder. The cards are out there. If you don't help me, how can I help you? We're supposed to be friends. You said so yourself. Search harder. Only you can find them. 
looking for cards. There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. I mean, I don't know how true that is. Getting your foot cut off. That's not going to kill you. That's probably not going to make you stronger. Having all your fingers broken. Not going to kill you. Won't make you stronger. August 22nd. This is two months later. They're at Austin's age, yeah. You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. So this is Jacob. Hmm. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. You heard me? Thor. Oh, yep. spell it. Nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. <gasps> so she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> okay. Quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey. Okay, this is, um, you've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be the lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. So, so Jacob was dumped by Emma. Emma is Halston Sage. So I can remember who's who. And Jacob is a backwards hat row. So there are secrets, so let's be sure to look around. Can I get her name? Jake, bags, focus. No. Who leaves all their doors open? Like every door? It's odd. So we're here in the car park. It doesn't kill you, it makes what you stronger. doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Not in the mood sign. There's iron bars leading underneath the house, and you can get in right there. According to reports from the local paper, the North Hill, <clears throat> some hay bales caught fire during the open. Hey, what are you, uh, what are you listening to? Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke. Good to know. I saw her come down here. I guess not. Did she go up? Music is soothing. It's a nice shift in tone. So this is two months later. Oh, Jesus 
Jesus Christ. Hi. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's... I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just Dylan, it. please. Sorry, bro. <sighs> cool. Thanks, guys. But Dylan has the kind of wavy hair. Nineteen fifty-three. When was Place like this. It's like a goddamn Bob Ross. Goddamn Bob Ross. Okay, so from there, from the down, the other side, I can get to the lake, possibly. There we go. There we go. Skill. You know what? There's one more thing I want to check first. Oh, double skill. So could I have gone in there maybe as Laura? Maybe I just didn't explore enough as Laura. Those are the general store. This is a general store at this camp. That's cool. And I didn't see a sign on the uh, red date on the harem scarum circus carnival, whatever, to tell when that happened. But like 50s freak show, that kind of makes sense. Kind of lines up time-wise. What's a little, little like? Ugh, horror. I hate horror. Blood Castle, slaughter by sunrise. Oh, it's the uh, the little girl from the uh, the cutscenes is on this poster. Not the hundred percent smooth this controls, but it's not bad. So there's the main door. So this is like the uh the mess hall. Yep, like buffet style. So that's Dylan.
Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and... So the way here is not two, Dylan. Two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you gonna help me with the bags or what? Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! I think it's set in the present. They're, they just mentioned cell phones, and they had GPS in the car. The car was an old-school station wagon, but they mentioned... Or they, they showed the GPS, so... All right, so there's the bags, okay. <clears throat> I kind of, no, I, I didn't want to, there's so much more stuff in there. All right, got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Oh, okay, so now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. <laughs> oh. Oh, sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Okay. Ah, oh, sexy, huh? How does that camp by far? Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like, second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me, of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby. Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H, and... Okay, are you almost finished? Please. Abby, Nick. So, Jacob, Emma... Yep, that's it. That's everyone. Dylan, Ryan, Abby, Nick, so Mr. Hackett. So she really Hackett. just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we going to make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My so whole is thing here, Nick? is like, you know... Maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? I do like this banter. Mad if he did. Okay, okay, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe she does have like this superpower over me, but you know what? Maybe I like it. <laughs> oh, likes it. Check. Totally not in denial. Oh, Check. Okay. Wow, the um, the fumes of, of jealousy are just stifling over here. Excuse me? I'm just saying, I guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog. You're a real charmer, you know that? That's right, because I could charm the pants off a snake. That's maybe the dumbest thing you've ever said. No, no, I've definitely said dumber. Yep. Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will we'll make, make you stronger. stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet, and you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. Uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like a arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, 
one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Yeah. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Now, don't sure. be an ass. Guess we'll just have to find out. Don't break the fuel line. Come on with me, buddy. I'll put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D don't, Go don't. Long. Oh, Nick! Boom. Oh. oh, there it is. Oh, Ooh. man, good sight. Ooh. Freak. Oh. oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. Freaks. Mm. I'm surrounded by freaks. So I'm guessing that oh, that thank is... thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged Dylan, up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is... Being dumped an emergency. Oh, Ben. Uh, okay. Well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn. Now we burn. Yeah. Well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hook. Okay, okay. Okay. Let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where is everybody else? Why? Why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't. <laughs> I don't I even know how dig. to respond to that. I think that's Nick. You say Nick. You're way yep. smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah. Keep dreaming, Junior. <laughs> Which means Dylan is the jerk. I didn't get to finish exploring, though. I did. That kind of annoys me. Those are the cabins. So this is Abby, I'm guessing. Gotta head out, catch you later. Thanks, man, great having you. Uh, I'm gonna be doing this every night around the same time if you're ever interested. So Abby is an artist. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oop. Oh boy, you're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. So and by shape winter. our destiny, I mean. Shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Okay, let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One, two, three! Mm. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh my god, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts! Aw, this was little Izzy's. I want to play a game. <laughs> Let's get you back to Izzy.
So that's either going to help me as a... Why would this place be in the news? This guy from a newspaper. North Kill Gazette. Doesn't look recent. Someone got a fire. Was it here at Hackett's Quarry? Can't believe I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. And last area. Alright, we're good. Close the door behind us. No, let's leave it wide open. Awesome. Hey, Owen, how you doing? Which are, what am I going to do if I hit 50 followers? Hmm. That is a... Hey! Oh. You stop that! <sighs> that is a uh, very good question. I'm not sure. I don't really have a milestone set yet. Any suggestions from you? I do have some games I've been meaning to play uh, and some games that have been recommended to me. It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcement. Let me see. Let me check what I'm at right now. Right now, I am at. I could see myself doing a giveaway for it. Yeah, so we're, we're getting there. Might have to put it out there. Celebrate hitting 50 and affiliate. Um. Yeah, I could probably see myself doing a small, maybe a smaller giveaway. And then, obviously, bigger giveaways at incremental increases. So it probably wouldn't be anything huge. I'm, pro I'm not like, giving away a PS5 or a Switch right now. What would I give away if I did one? Um, I could see myself... Ooh. Hmm. Because it would probably be a lower one, probably something simpler, so I could probably see myself giving away something like uh, just a set amount of... Uh, like a, a gift card for either... A PS2? <laughs> I mean, I still got my PS2. That's probably not getting given away anytime soon. Ouch. Let's hope Jacob hasn't seen this. Jacob and Emma for summer. Oh, that's mean. Headset, mouse, keyboard. <sighs> the quarry game. Ugh. <laughs> what is that? Is it Dylan's? Ugh. Yeah, the Cory game's pretty new. I can see myself giving away uh, maybe a new game. So the Cory would not be a bad choice. Because so far, I'm really enjoying it. So far, it's really pretty. All of the... Cabins are named after locations, Boston, Burbank, Death Valley.
If you get me to 50 followers tonight, am I going to give you something? What's going on, Juan? Let's see. I appreciate the offer, but I don't think so, man. I'm good. Just a hobby for me. Thanks for the offer, though. I appreciate that. I don't think anyone knocked Caitlin out of first place all summer. Ready to roll? Let's do it. Finally. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? So I mean, the actor. In a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No, <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Can't put down oh. the controller even a sec. Nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, appreciate the offer, man. Just not feeling it right now. Kind of like you and Jacob. It's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But. That's us. You and Nick could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp. Nah, we gotta get out. We should really get back. Boo. Thumbs down. I've, everyone's waiting for us. Nick isn't gonna leave without saying goodbye. Nick ain't gonna leave at all. Shit, Abby! Oh! Aww. Too close. Squirrel dude, my girl here is on her way to ask a guy out for the first time like ever. Emma! <laughs> Couldn't let her squirrel out of it. I am going to throw you out of the cart. I deserve that. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. 
<laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. It's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up onto the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take uh, care of my own bag, thank you. Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. All right. Cool. My boy simping. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need? Yeah. Can I? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Good friend, Dylan. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast, nice, that's cool. What's it about? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. No, it's a... It's a... <laughs> Paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? Well, what's now. the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's <laughs> Quarry. I think stop saying the Hag both of, of them are kind of into. Sexy loner sailing it's instructor Ryan. It's a campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Silas? There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, She'll try to turn you into her son. Or kill you. Or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, podcast, bro. Man. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean... Not for life. <laughs> Hopefully. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Uh, yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. And there's Mr. Rock Arquette. To it. Get those butts in gear. And David Arquette. Sorry, Mr. H. You had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. 
Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, so he's anti-tech, no maybe? No you can share my earbuds. Ooh. I still don't so, know what Brenda uh, Song's character Chris, name is. I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh, I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just you know about the whole thing w with the. Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. Suspicious. What? Because kids are kids. You can only be so muscular, bro. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have. Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's a okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area. This is a waste of time. You know what? I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. This looks like damn movie quality. Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. Like I mean, I heard. I, uh, I mean, I was. I didn't hear what you were. Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry, I pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Okay. You, you know, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Dang it. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> so something's going on on this mountain at night. They're looking for someone? So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. So Chris had One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents? Letter after letter. With these terrified kids that they sent home. Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Got to understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor leader yeah just stick finding to moderation finding time, balance okay? what's that you guys don't do kumbaya anymore good grief i'm outgrowing my own cliches i mean as a former camp counselor horror stories are important but you, you balance them you balance them with songs you balance them with chris what's going on i just want to get you guys safely out of dodge before the sun goes down Totally, yeah. Best to get you all out of harm's way. Woods are chock full of live game and local hunters hop to it the second camp's over. It's not safe. Hmm. Where in the good goddamn are they? It's a hunting season. Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? He sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. 
Caleb works at the scrap yard during the off season and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. That just looks like a picture of David Arquette superimposed. Really teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. I and locked the, the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left uh -huh. them. Let's skedaddle. All right, that was a, an interesting little. So I assume if I listen to the podcast, I would learn more about the Make hack. Make sure they're all ready to go for real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure to turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. <laughs> I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good, because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. What's the problem? Ugh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come all on. Right, Come dude, on. Chill. Chill, dude. Oh, God. Didn't believe him. Damn it. I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Help Chris with minivan is the current objective. Camp. Laura and Max. Oh, this is like a... Starring Laura Kearney and Max Brinley. Journey through the twists and turns of young lug and discover how dress. Stupid is as stupid dies. A fool's errand. There we go. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! So Abby with I. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Brian, come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? 
Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. Oh, damn. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. He's not going to warn the rest of them. Like, hey, hunters are out in force. They they're starting now. So people are going to be wandering so, around with guns. So stay inside. What was that about? Yeah said to stay inside that we're not leaving until the morning are you kidding me um are you kidding me what are we supposed to do well we should go inside like he said we could go inside until morning yeah or or we could do something else no no no, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. There we yeah. go. We okay. now have a name. Um, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out. You know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 D dude, dude, it's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you, uh, you don't want to disappoint Daddy. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris <laughs> told Boo! me. Oh. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, Hacketeers. Party planning committee, let's do this. Um, okay, first things first. Nick and Abby, you go get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. Someone is watching. Well, that guy's covered in blood. Season. 
All right, so I can see who is where. Everyone right now is at the lodge. Oh, that is everyone's names. Abigail, Dylan, Emma, Jacob, Caitlin, Nick, Ryan. So far, I'm a big fan of Abby, Jacob, and Caitlin. And you know, Ryan's, uh, I like Ryan too. An empty vial with an unpleasant odor, but now I know that people were smearing themselves with something from a vial. And that's technically evidence. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you've found. Empty handed. You need to look around you, find my cards, and I can help you. Where I'm from, we look out for each other. Find them, please. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. Maybe there was a card close Look to where that raven was. Cards. All right. On that ominous note, I think we're going to end. We're gonna end for now. I feel like we're starting to build up. Bizarre Yeti. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I'm enjoying this because this is a really beautiful game. Supermassive went above and beyond. I feel like this is way smoother than their previous titles. But here we are. It's weird because Laura and Max are front and center on this cover and they're dead? Mysterious cops... An anxious camp counselor who bailed. And probably a dumb mistake in sabotaging the car. A solid setup for a horror movie. Or in this case, a horror game. And I'm really interested to see what happens next. So guys, come on back uh, tomorrow if you're watching this on Twitch. Next week if you're watching this when I put it up on YouTube. Thank you guys so much and I'll be seeing you. Until next time. Peace.